What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your old computer into a powerful router and a firewall. So for this video, I'm going to be using this computer and you have to have two network cards. So I'm going to be using one onboard card and the second one, the one that I bought it from Amazon, it's like 10 or 15 bucks and I'll put link in the description below. This is a gigabit one. So you'll have to install it here. So that way we'll have two. One we're going to use for our WAN from our modem and a second cable we're going to use to plug in into our switch. First thing we need to do, we need to go to this website and I'll put link in the description below and we need to download Sophos XG Firewall. This is a home edition and this is free. So we need to put our first name, last name and business email. And if you don't have a business email, you can just put your Gmail or Hotmail and it's going to work. But we need to put our legitimate email address because they will email us serial number to activate actual firewall. Once you fill everything out, click on submit. And at this page, just scroll down and click on download. And it's going to take you to this page. Scroll down, put a check mark next to accept Sophos and user license agreement, and then click submit. And now right here, just click on save and start downloading your ISO file. So one more thing what we need to do, we need to download Rufus. This is the program we're going to use to burn that software on a flash drive. So go to this website and I'll put also link in the description below. And I'm just going to use portable version. And I'll click save. Once the download is complete, we need to click on Rufus or go to your downloads and then double click on Rufus. And right here, I'm just going to click no. And we need to insert our flash drive into our computer, the one that we're going to be using to install router firewall. And it needs to be at least one gig or two gig uh, flash drive. And I'm just going to be using a uh, four gig. Once you plug it into your computer, Rufus is going to detect right away, leave everything as default. And right here, we need to click on select, navigate to your downloads and then choose SW, that's the one we just downloaded, and then click on open. You can leave everything as default. I'm just going to rename Sophos. And right here, I'm going to click on start. Once you get this message, make sure you change this from write in ISO to write in DD image mode. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And then click OK. And then press OK one more time. This is just stating everything on your device will be lost, will be formatted. And then click OK. And now we just have to wait until it's going to create bootable flash drive. Once this process is complete, we can click on close and we can eject the flash drive. Now plug in your flash drive into your computer. Now start your computer and on the startup, we'll have to boot into the boot menu. On my computer, it's F12. On your computer, it could be something else. And in here, I'm going to choose USB storage device and I'm going to press enter. And right here at this screen, I'm just going to press Y and I'm going to press enter. This is basically just stating everything is going to be deleted out of my hard drive and then it's going to be overwritten with a new OS. And now we just have to wait until it's going to install Sophos firewall router on our PC. Once the process is done, most likely you're going to hear some kind of sound. And then right here, you just have to press Y to reboot the system and then press enter. And while it's rebooting, we can pull out our flash drive and plug in your cable, the one that's coming from your modem, plug in into your computer. Once your computer reboots, what we need to do, we need to plug in into the our switch or our old router. Depends what you have. So what I'm going to do instead of using Ethernet port, I'm not going to use Ethernet port at all. What I'm going to do, I'm going to plug in one of those cables into my firewall router. And the second cable I'm going to plug in into my laptop to access our router. But before I'm going to do that, 
I'm going to actually log in into the switch and I'm going to disable DHCP server. This is basically service that leases IP addresses. Since our firewall router is going to be leasing that, we need to disable that on our switch. So that way there is not going to be a conflict. So I'll show you how to do that. So before plugging in your switch into your new router firewall, just plug in into your laptop and follow my steps. So plug in cable from your router into your laptop and then press on start and type CMD and press enter and type IP config. And over here, you're going to see default gateway. This is your router or switch IP address. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to type this in our browser. I'm going to use edge. And then right here, I'm going to type 192.168.2.10 and press enter and right here, log into your router or your switch, whatever you're using. And once you log in, so for example, I'm using Linksys, it's gonna, you have to find it somewhere. Mine is gonna be under setup and basic setup. And once you scroll down, you see right here, DHCP server enabled. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disable and I'm gonna click save. Once it's safe, click on continue and that's it, DHCP is disabled. And now we need to plug in our second cable that's going from our switch into our router firewall. Okay, once you have everything plugged in, at this screen, we can log in and we can change the configurations and the password, the default password is gonna be admin. And then right here, just click a to accept. So right here, you can see different options. You can see network configuration, system configuration, route configuration, device console, device management, VPN, shutdown, reboot, and exit. So what we're gonna click, we're gonna click on one, and then we're gonna press enter. And right here, we're gonna press on one one more time just to see interface configuration, and then press enter. And right here, you can see our LAN port is set up as 172.16.16.16 and then press enter one more time and then our WAM port that's the one we plugged in from our modem this is 192.168.1.221 so what we can do we can either change it or leave it as default I'm gonna leave everything as default right now and then press one more time and then you can press right here enter again to not change anything and then enter again and done. So now we need to get on our computer. In our computer, I'm just gonna open Edge browser and to access our router, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna type HTTPS column forward slash forward slash 172.16.16.16 and then column 4444 and then press enter. And right here at this screen, we need to click on advanced and then we need to click on continue and right here, this is our Sophos next gen firewall. And then we need to click on begin. And right here, you can change your language, click on begin. We need to create new password. And for right now, I'm just gonna uncheck to install latest firmware. And then I'm gonna scroll down and then I'll have to put a check mark next to terms and conditions that you agree. And then click on continue. And right here, we need to come up with a firewall name. I'm just gonna name firewall and then set your time zone, then scroll down and then click continue. And right here, we need to register our firewall. We don't really have to do that, but if we're not gonna do that, then some of the functions are gonna be disabled. So whenever we were downloading the software, remember I told you we need to put our email address. That's, so now we need to open our email address and see serial number that was emailed to us from Sophos. So here is my email, here is the email from Sophos, and this is my serial number. So I'm just gonna copy, and then I'm gonna go back to my router, and I'm gonna paste it here. And then we need to scroll down, and then click on continue. And once you get to the screen, scroll down, and if you don't have a Sophos ID, you might wanna create one. And I think I already created one, so I'm just gonna sign in. And right here, this is just to continue registration and then confirm registration. And that's it, your device is registered. 
And once the registration is complete, now it's going to show us exactly what kind of functions we can use with this firewall, with this router. And you can see that it expires in $29.99. So it's like give us almost a thousand year license. So it's basically never going to expire. And then in here, we can just scroll down and then click on continue. And then right here, you can leave everything as default or you can change which port is going to be LAN or WAN. I'm going to leave everything as default. And right here, I'm going to leave this as firewall router mode, or you can change this to bridge mode, but I'm going to leave everything as default. And right here, DHCP lease. Also, you can change that, but I'm going to leave everything as default for this video and then click on continue. And once you get to this screen, you can actually select which options do you want to enable from the beginning? I'm just going to select first one, second one, and the third one. And I'm going to leave this one unchecked because I don't really want anything to submit to Sophos for right now. And we can always go back and change that and then click on continue. And right here, what you can do, you can set up email, like some kind of notification email or a backup email, like for example, to send you guys alerts or anything else. What I'm going to do, I'm going to uncheck this for right now. I'm just going to put one of my email addresses. And for the email sender, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come up with something like alerts at sophos.com. And then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click continue. This is just the summary. And I'm going to click finish. And now it's applying all the config and your computer will reboot. Once the reboot is complete, we need to click again on advanced and click on continue. And right here, we just need to log in into our router. Username is going to be admin and the password. It's the one that you set up at the beginning. And then log in. Once you log in, you can see this dashboard. And right here, there is a how to guide. There is log viewers and there is other things. I'm not going to dive into the details, but right here, you can see the performance services, VPN interfaces, and then you can scroll down. There is more other dashboards. And then right here, you can see current activities, reports, diagnostic, firewall, and then intrusion prevention, web. So basically right here at the web, you can select what to block or what to allow on your network, application, wireless email, web server, and other features, and also such as VPN, network, routing, and you can set up policy routing, gateway, BGP, and then under systems, you can look at the profile, then you can look at the host and services, administration, backup firmware, so right here, you can actually update your firmware right here. If you click on a firmware and then you can click on check for new firmware. Once you click on that, it's going to check if there is any new firmware available. And since we just downloaded from the website, there are no updates available. And if you like this video, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.